Hey people, a guy called Christoph uh, kind of challenged me to do a NAV computer for a jump drive or something similar to that, an easier way to select locations. And I didn't think it was really possible to do, but I have been able to sort of make it work. So uh, let's take it for a spin. So yeah, this is the, the interface. We've got a list of our destinations over here. I can change up and down with them with the buttons here. And then an info screen in the middle. So let's do a short jump so we don't have too long of cooldowns. So let's jump to Mars. So we're going to select Mars, press our alignment button. The ship will align, tell us the distance and amount of jumps. And it will say it's aligned and ready to jump. So now I press 1 to jump. And here we go. We landed within, well, we are pretty spot on here. So uh, yeah, it works, it's precise. Uh, in a few seconds, let's see, we have a 19, 17 seconds remaining on recharge. I'll be able to jump to Earth. The basics of how this works is that since jump drives are an absolute nightmare to work with, I, uh, I cheated a little bit. I'm using blind jump, as you may notice. Um, because I can't really set anything here. I can read the, the the detailed info over here on the right side, so the type, the max required input and stuff like that, and I can, with some fiddling, set the distance. So that's basically all I'm doing with the jump drive. As for my list of destinations, I'm using a remote, because a remote you can read the waypoints off of. So basically any waypoint in here will be added to my list of waypoints down here I can jump to. So if I, for example, were to say new from current position, call it NAS, find tick, uh, I can go into the remote and, oh yeah, add that and it appears at the bottom of our list and is selectable. So if I were to align to that, it will say yeah, very, very little since we're on it, so it can't really do anything with that. And uh, yeah, let's do a bit longer of a test jump. So what's furthest uh, for moon? Let's do the moon. And we are aligning distance 1914 kilometers. Ready to jump. Not quite as spot on when it's uh, barely 2,000 kilometer jump, but still pretty neat. That's just a limitation to, uh, well, basically I'm aligning this with a, a gyroscope and it's not that finely tuned of an instrument, so uh, yeah. But uh, it works, and now we have six minutes remaining, and if I try to align again, it will say it's locked out. It will not allow me to do so because we're charging, so we can't jump or do anything. Anywho, if you just wanted to see it work and try around with it, the link to the save game is in the description below. Uh, what I'm going to do now is try to go over how it works and how it doesn't work. This is very buggy. This is not made for anyone to just plug the code into their ship and have a jump drive. This works very specifically to this ship. So yeah, zero error handling. If I uh, remove a waypoint or if I have zero waypoints, then the code will crash and we'll have to, well, restart the programmable block. And uh, yeah, a few other things because, as I said, zero error handling. So, how it works uh, Pythagoras and triangles, basically. These uh, batteries here, so there's a center one, a front one, a rear one, a right one, and a top one. There's also a bottom one, but I don't use that. I basically use those to form a triangle. So I get the position of the center battery, the right battery, and my target. Now I have a, a, a triangle. Um, basically, I have three points, so it's you can see it as a triangle. And because I have three points, I have three lengths, so three sides. And with those three sides, I can get the angle of any side I desire uh, in regards to my origin and my target. 
So I use that to get uh, an angle between 0 and 180 degrees. And then I have a battery on the front and behind to basically determine is the target behind me or not because I can't get an angle above 180 degrees so I'm using that to basically invert my values kind of to tell if it's behind me and I do the same thing uh, just uh, with an upwards facing battery and the center instead to get my elevation and that's basically it for, for the alignment then I use a rotor to point the ship as for actually manipulating a jump drive uh, well, that's that's just pure scripting, really. Uh, well, the rest of it was as well. The problem with the jump drive, you have ridiculously little access to it. I can't get the max jump distance, the charge time, or I could calculate it, or anything to do with the coordinates, nor can I jump using the programmable block. Using a bit of fiddling, you can adjust the distance um, but there's not even a direct method of accessing that. You'll have to, to manipulate, uh, uh, basically use a set value. Uh, so that's a pain in the butt. And um, yeah, setting the distance is, is just that and it's pretty simple. As I said, if I have uh, two points, uh, so my origin and my target, then I can calculate the distance between them and uh, Bob's your uncle. Um, I can set the precise jump distance I need down to I uh, think it's about less than a meter's precision, but uh, yeah, due to uh, the gyroscope and stuff like that, I will get that at extreme ranges, but it will always land within about 100 meters of your targets. Oh, and uh, our last thing, uh, it also does, well, it doesn't do multiple jumps. It tells you if you're out of jump distance and how many jumps you will need to reach your targets. So I'm just gonna speed ahead for a recharge. All right, so let's do the alien planet there. And uh, if we try to align to that, it will align, of course, but it will say that distance is blah and number of jumps is three because we need to jump three times to get there. So uh, yeah, that is the final feature, I think. As I said, really not the... Um, suitable for anyone to just plug it in unless they understand the, the idea behind it and or is able to manipulate the names in a script but yeah it's not it, it doesn't use a ton of blocks um, as you can see here I got my five battery blocks uh, cockpit jump drive remote and that is it um, oh and a gyro so if you can change the names up here to whatever you're using and you're setting it up in the same configuration, then yes, it will work. Um, you just got to keep that in mind. Anyhow, that is all. Thank you for watching and uh, see you.